YouTube at this point. Uh, I'll try to get a shorter edited down version later. It might not end up t uh, happening due to time. But we are live on twitch.tv slash bengalbro as I like to do for all these off seasons. Taking on our 49ers franchise off season. This is full version on YouTube. What's up? Um, Mike is out of sync. Okay. I will I will address that right now. It is out of sync. Most step. Good call. Okay. Uh, things should be fine now. I appreciate you letting me know early on in the process. That's why you have mods, I guess. Or, you know, good viewers. Whatever the case may be. Appreciate all you guys being here. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube, we're not going to start right away. We'll go over some things while, uh, while people fill up in the stream. So, my goal in terms of viewership for this stream, I would like to hit... 350 at one point. I think that'd be pretty awesome. It is Twitch though. I don't have that many followers on Twitch So if you are not following me on Twitch, I do a lot of stuff on there. Not a whole ton of Madden So I mean, you know take that as you will but um, I have 23 subscribers on Twitch and I have let's see how many viewers do I have on or how many followers do I have on Twitch? I have Almost 5,000 so if you're watching this right now if everyone who's watching this were to go to my uh, my Twitch channel and hit the follow button, I would be well over 5,000. So that would be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. We already have about 50 people in here. Um, hopefully YouTube sub boxes work so you guys see the actual short video I put out and you can actually come to uh, the team. But let's go over the team a little bit. So we got VJ Poole as our starting left tackle right now. Uh, he got moved because Trent Brown just wasn't getting the job done on the blind side of the quarterback. We, of course, have Josiah Mahaffey, Spencer Long, Zach Kubiak. has played really, really well this season um, for the most part. His stats are getting nice. And um, he's an 83 overall at just 24 years of age. So that's another thing that's very cool. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, my YouTube notification, that is awesome. That is awesome. Um, all right, I got everything set up. Uh, so, offensive line, am I really looking to improve anything? Probably not, for the most part. Like, we do have some talented players here. Um, I mean, Lake and Tomlinson, I don't know what we're going to do in terms of trade, because this is, is this is not, like, full-on realistic style, but it's, like, a nice happy medium between realistic and crazy, leaning towards, of course, realistic. Jonu Smith and George Kittle are our starting tight ends really need to do nothing there john o. smith is someone that didn't really impress me all that much he dropped too many passes and i feel like george kittle might be a better look for us and you know with john o. smith he's a guy that you know he played okay but he pretty much offers exactly what george kittle does they're like the same player except george kittle's a little bit faster so i don't really know what to do there john o. smith will stay on the roster no matter what um but i don't really know um, as far as the wide receivers go, Sanchez Heaney is a guy that's all the way up to an 81 overall, as he did get quick development for making the Pro Bowl, a ton of XP, uh, and we upgraded release, route running, and awareness when I was doing that. So he's up to an 81 overall. So that turned out to be a fantastic pick. Just killing it. We're going to show the stats up in a minute. Um, on the defensive side of the ball. Immediately, a couple of positions stand out to you. Cornerback being one of them. Because Richard Robinson's played okay. If you guys watched the series, Willis Burdine obviously came on strong near the end of the season. Which is nice. He's fantastic getting there, at least. Aaron Merritt is a guy who played well in limited opportunities as a nickel cornerback. Really like what he brings to the table. And then Marcus Calhoun, someone that didn't really play that much. Akella Witherspoon, people were begging me to get in there. But... He just made too many mistakes when we had him in. Had to go a different direction. Ray Ray Armstrong is a player that played really, really well for us. Would like to keep him as a uh, depth, even if we have to go out and draft a linebacker. And then we have Dawson Bailey. What did he do this season? What did Dawson Bailey do? He had two interceptions, 86 total tackles, a tackle for loss. He allowed 22 catches, though. Forced to fumble. Did score a touchdown. He's a guy that maybe we want to have out there on special teams, but I don't know if we want him to be our starting free safety. He really doesn't look all that bad. It's just a lot of play rec, a lot of awareness that needs to be boosted up. But he's got decent enough zone, decent enough speed. Obi Melifon, who played okay 
Um, and then Jaquiski Tart injured and then benched. So not really much we can do there. On the defensive line, I would love to upgrade at edge rusher. Jihad Ward, Aaron Lynch are kind of nice, but we could use some, some help there. And then maybe on the inside, Eric Armstead played pretty well as we have a donation coming in here. I have no idea what that says. Got my. All right, he Love said. Support fam less than three. All right, you guys probably heard the tail end of that. Appreciate the donation there, gods. Um, you know, any size matters. I know you said it was kind of small. It's whatever. Any any size matters. I appreciate you looking out for me like that. Um, but yeah, you guys see the positions of need. We're looking to upgrade at cornerback, safety, defensive line, outside linebacker for sure, and then the offensive side of the ball. Maybe a wide receiver. Joey Cummings. Uh, had an up and down rookie season and slow development is hurting him, but he came in and was immediately a great change of pace back. He broke a ton of tackles, broke off a ton of big runs, 10 touchdowns and a thousand rushing yards as a rookie. I really can't complain about that. Let's check out the full stats for you guys. How do you donate? There should be a link somewhere, somewhere down there. Who's Mitchell? Who is Mitchell? Thank you very much for the Twitch subscription. I appreciate it. Jimmy G, um, I just I just wasn't that good. Part of it is me not being able to play quarterback. We were sacked a lot, uh, and his touchdown to interception ratio was horrific. A lot of that, I mean, you guys see a lot of missed throws from him, which is unfortunate. It's something that happens uh, with the slider set, which we are going to adjust here. Um, I'm not looking really to draft a quarterback. Some people wanted me to just for the sake of the series to get a new fresh face in there. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do that. Receiving. We have Sanchez Heaney led our team in yards. We didn't really have a whole ton of touchdowns. I might want to increase the quarter length. And then blocking. I mean, we had a lot of sacks allowed. A lot of that was not playing. And then Ruben Foster led our team in tackles. 124, Quan with 122. Many tackles for loss at 14, which led the team. 12 for Solomon Thomas, who ended up getting 16 sacks. Interesting. Nine for DeForest Buckner came in second. That's awesome. And then, of course, Ruben Foster had 10 interceptions. As I was using around a little bit. What's going on, Chewbacca? Oh, thanks for that uh thanks for that link, by the way. Uh, and then as far as awards go, Aaron Rodgers won MVP. Coach of the year went to Jim Caldwell. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Tom Brady. Miles Garrett won Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year was Craig Dellenbach. And Defensive Rookie of the Year was Bennett Shore for the AFC. In the NFC, the Offensive Player of the Year was Aaron Rodgers. No 49ers. Defensive player of the year was Brandon Graham. How is... Ru oh, there he is at 8. Ruben Foster, 10 interceptions, 120-plus tackles, uh, many tackles for loss. Offensive rookie of the year was Ryan Clary. Joey Cummings at number 2. Oh, no. That would have been key. Sanchez Heaney at 5. Defensive rookie of the year was Dixon Biaka Batuka. Willis Burdine at 4. Dawson Bailey, the free safety, at 5. Aaron Merritt at 7. Trey Pierre-Paul picked us off in a game for the Cardinals. But uh, that's where we stand right now. That's where we stand. Also, I appreciate all the new follows, guys, if you have not already. Um, What do we want to do here? Well, I, was, I just had a thought pop into my head. Oh, yeah, sliders. Here's what we're going to do with the sliders and league settings. We are going to increase the time. Oh, baby. Gut Fox. We're, we're going to go 10 minutes with the host. 319 viewers. I appreciate it, Gut. If you guys see, I, uh, I post uh, sexually suggestive songs to Gut Fox and I tweet them at him. You guys should follow suit. I do appreciate the host very much. As we jumped up a little bit in viewers there at the start. That's a great way to start the stream, gotta, gotta say. Um, gameplay sliders, we are going to change, though. QB accuracy, I know I have a lot of miss, uh, completion, or incompletions and missed throws with Jimmy G. I think that's fair, um, but it is what it is. We're going to keep the QB accuracy as is. Pass blocking, 70 is fine. Wide receiver catching is fine. Run blocking, I know they get a lot of penetration sometimes. I would maybe even go as high as 57. But I'm not going to appreciate the cheer, by the way. I don't really know what those do, and it's hard to read. Um, but it is what it is. 
Um, I want to find a spot to hold this. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine. That's fine. Um, all right. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna increase the sliders, because I mean, I like how players make plays, but it happens a little bit too often. We're gonna turn interceptions down to 60. I like pass defensive reaction time, but we're gonna turn it down to 75 a piece. Tackling, I think that's fine. QB accuracy, we're gonna up to 20 for them for the CPU. Pass blocking, I think is fine. It could be turned down, but we're gonna leave it as is. Wide receiver catching, they catch too many balls as is. We're gonna leave it at 40. Run blocking. We're going to go 35. Fumbles, I think, is fine. Pass defense reaction time, I think, is fine. Interceptions will boost to a 45. Pass coverage, I think, is fine. Tackling, I think, could be turned down a bit, but overall, that's fine. So, field goal act 40 plays really, really well, I got to say. And injuries, we're going to go down to 8. Still too many injuries per game. We're going to keep everything else the, the same. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I forgot about the whole Chewy versus uh, Galaxy dynamic. Not Galaxy. What the fuck? Chewy versus Gutfuck. I read, I read the name. It was, it was crazy. Um, players to re-sign. We have Bradley Pinion, who is the starting punter. Trent Brown. That's an interesting decision. That is an interesting decision for sure. He's 26 years old. Uh, normal development. He doesn't look fantastic. But he is 26. He could improve. These are his skills so far. I mean, what would I pay Trent Brown? I would give him a four-year deal till he's 30. And I would likely want to pay him 2.5 per year. That's as high as I'd go on a potential backup. All right, Trent Brown's going to come back. He accepts. Uh, Bradley Pinion, I definitely want to get back. I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him 1.75 over 7. He's not interested in signing. I'm going to franchise tag. You can't fucking... You're not leaving. So, that sucks to suck. Ray Ray Armstrong. He played well. So, I want him. That's just that's just what needs to happen. We're going with... Um, let's do a four-year deal. We got a $5 donation from Mike. Greetings from Germany. Greetings from Germany. All right. Thank you, whatever, who reads it for me. I, I, I can read. I don't know what the fuck... I, I can read myself, but thanks. I don't know what that's doing. Um, for, is he playing until he's 32 as a backup? I'm not going to pay him. I would not pay him over 2.25 per year. All right, he's going to re-sign. That's fine. The rest of these players, Marquis Goodwin, I don't want. Chiquisky Tart, I don't want. Spoken J, of course I want. Are you kidding me? Um, give him a two-year deal worth 4.35. Smoking J is coming back. Robbie Gold, we don't need. Zane Beatles, we don't need. Eli Harold uh, is decent. I don't particularly want him. So, that is what it is. I don't... Yeah, we're, we're fine on re-signings. Let's go to the next week. Carlos Hyde turned down his offer with the Raiders, so we could potentially sign him in free agency. That could be a thing that happens. I might want to do that. Um, I, I don't want that, but... <laughs> I could. I could want that. Delaney Walker's here. Oh, Brandon Scherf is here. He played a, he played left tackle at Iowa. And then moved to right guard with the Redskins. Um, this is interesting, for sure. It is. This is something we could look into, for sure. Jason Peters is a, is a good fella. Don't want him. He's too old. Jamison Crowder is interesting. I feel like we already have a better option in Sanchez Heaney. Your fullback, I don't care. Amir Abdullah would be a good change of pace. Chance Warmack is interesting. Annie Oakley. Your name's not Annie. What is your name? Anthony Oakley. He looks really solid. He's just not particularly strong. Can run block like a, a mother something. Um... Impact blocking is high. He's great in the run block game. So that's awesome. Uh, M. Choro with the $2 donation says, Play Minecraft or something decent. Uh, Minecraft and Roblox streams coming very soon. Not to oh, worry. Yeah. Not to worry. Play Minecraft or something decent. There you go. Um, uh, you know, yeah, Minecraft and Roblox will be coming very, very soon. I'm trying to change his setting here. 
I have no idea how to do it. Sorry, I'm a little bit, a little bit out of touch with the chat for a moment. Um, hold up. Hosts. All right, I want to change that. Yeah, here we go. All right, boom, golden. We're set. ASMR Roblox stream. Oh yeah, is there any other type? I don't think so. Uh, Anthony, he's, he's decent. I'm gonna call him Annie Oakley the entire series. De uh, ooh, I almost called him Dexter Fowler. That's not who this is. That's not even the right sport. Dante Fowler Jr., Josh Sitton, John Miller. Ronald Darby's interesting. He's really a man cover corner, uh, and he's getting way too big of an offer from the Cowboys. I don't want that. Alex Smith, don't want. Devin Funches. We could play him at tight end, but then we already have him pretty much. He'd be a sick tight end. He played tight end at uh, Michigan. 58 round block. I just can't do that. Max Williams is another guy. I don't really need a tight end, though. You know, I'm going to give an offer to Brandon Scherf. We're going to give Brandon Scherf an offer. Quick development. We can give him a six-year deal worth worth. 4.86 it's 91 I'll up that I'll go up to 100 in total we'll give him a bonus because I can pay him he's easily worth over 5 per year easily we'll offer him that that's 100 total points perfect exactly where I wanted it and then I would also consider going after even after signing uh, Trent Brown re-signing I would go after Anthony Oakley but I wouldn't offer him more than this that's my offer I know we're fourth. We won't get him, but that's where we're, that's where we're having it. We're going to advance to the next stage, see how we do here. So Annie Oakley rejected. Brandon Scherf also rejected. That's a little annoying. That's a little annoying for sure. Who else is here? No one too appealing, honestly. Bryce Callahan's going to be a corner with some speed. Uh, don't particularly want him. Yeah, there's no one here that I really want. Got to give him a top two offer that you reject. I've played franchise before. Believe it or not. Lindsey Beacon. This is the first time I'm seeing combine stats, so that's kind of nice. Um, hey, believe it or not, Mike, I don't speak fluent German. So, I can't really even say, I don't know what you said at all. Svando Sanders ran a fast time. He's a Bama cornerback, so we gotta keep in mind for that. Diamond Marion. Could he be the diamond in the rough? I don't know, he's a first-round guy, so probably not. Avery Craig. Decent speed as well. None of these guys are that big, though. Andre Roberts. Already a guy in the NFL. Jacorius Ward. Oh, that's Jacorius Ward could be the guy out of Nebraska. So you, you think great Nebraska cornerbacks. Prince of Mucamara comes to mind. 4'4 flat speed. He's six foot one, 210, basically. Great coverage skills across the board. Um Corvin Colbreth out of Texas. 426 speed. Not bad. Raymond Lucas out of NAM. He could play defensive tackle for us. 6'3", 288. Um, pretty strong. Not that fast, but he's good. Let's look at our positions and needs. Strong safety. Uh, none really look good. None look good to me. Free safety. Jordan Joyce we don't know much about. Is that the first in the class at 4'5"? Ugh. These safeties are not particularly good. Cornerback. Darian Clem out of Texas. We're going to watch him for that reason alone. He's not particularly good, though. Perry Cox is someone I want badly out of Villanova. That's a, that's a second-round pick, probably, for us. And then Sherman Armstrong also looks really good. 6'2 out of Illinois State. We'll keep an eye on him. We got a lot of cornerbacks to watch out for. Appreciate that, Clutch, if you're saying that. 
Love your vids, man. Thanks, man. Derek Winfield. He's a run stopper, so he would fit the scheme pretty well. In the second round, out of Nebraska. Got good speed, good everything else. He's very strong, very agile. We know his stats are pretty good. Let's see if we can pick him up. Middle linebacker. There was just, like, no talent there at all. So I was out on that. There are way too many opportunities here to talk about it. Oh, his last name is Blizzard. Damone Blizzard. You know, the Blizzard on NFL offense. I don't know. There are You guys get it. You guys get it. Defensive tackle, Texas. Anton Terrell. Very well-rounded. Very well-rounded. Very strong here from Keelan Spencer. He's very, very good. Carlos Young. Because we could potentially draft um, a defensive tackle. That wouldn't be out, out of the question by any means. The problem is a lot of them aren't very good. And I don't, despite him having a good grade, I don't like Benetton ben, uh, Birmingham. I don't really see his blocks yet, which is tough. And we don't really have a lot of points. We're going to have to advance to the next week. I could have used it somewhere, maybe, but I don't know. Offensive state, or excuse me, offseason stage three. Can I not read all of a sudden? Halfback, 451 out of Ohio State, Texas, 447 speed. He's someone that's very solid. A lot of Texas players in this draft. I can't complain. 456 speed, I'm just not interested in. That's an interesting style back. Andre Darkwa to pair with Orleans. That's a fun. Fun storyline potentially. Speed back. 427 speed. Oh, and he's solid. We could draft a running back. We've seen Orleans Darkwell get a lot of action. Antoine King doesn't have the speed. Chewbacca Lemma put OH in the chat. I'm waiting for just anyone to say IO, and I don't think it's coming. <laughs> Wide receiver is a position I've looked at a little bit. 4-3-5 speed at 6 foot. Bennett Gantt, someone I'm going to watch as well. We might have a really hard draft decision. That's solid value. As we get a donation there from... I can't fucking read that. Are we uploading this Are to you? You, uploading you, this that, to you, you, you just read it. Fine. I want to watch this love you so much, dude. No homo. Keep up the great work because you're the shit. Can keep we... up the great work, Bengal. You're gonna be huge. Hashtag hook em. The, the reading cadences are very odd. Oh, that that's solid value. I'll, I'll watch him. Because um, he stops for like 20 seconds and he just starts talking again. I appreciate the donation. Yes, this will be on YouTube. Four, five, that's not bad. Mm, I don't know. Something to think about. I've looked at offensive linemen a little bit. That'd be a quality center. Don't know his run block, though. All right, draft time. You guys like my, my porno stash? I didn't shave today. Spencer Long's back. Well, you might get a player drafted over you. I don't know. Could happen. Few a uh, free agency recap. We're going to check out DRC is still available. What do you look like? What's your speed? We can't check. Let's check out the league signings. Of Delaney Walker heading to Jacksonville. Drew Brees to the Rams. He re-signs with the Rams. Brandon Scherf goes to Kansas City. Jason Peters to the Bengals. Jameson Crowder to Buffalo. Dwayne Brown also goes to the Rams. We're going to have to watch out for him, of course. Looking out for people in our same division. Carlos Hyde headed to New York with the Jets. Fullback doesn't matter. Duke Johnson to the Saints. Interesting. Let's look for uh, only rival teams. The Browns are out here signing everybody. Two running backs in Fat Robin and Fear Amir. Tyler Lockett as well. Um, can I see any team in our division, please? Were teams in our division just not going after it? I have not seen one team, apart from the Rams, do anything. Oh, I said Cardinals. I missed Cardinals. Uh, random left end. And Andrew Franks. All right, kicker. 
you know, no one was really particularly active. I see a lot of NFC South teams. Like, the Saints keep coming up. The Jets keep coming up. Um, let's go ahead and start the NFL draft. The Jets are now on the no good safeties. Melifonwu was ass all year. He was a little bit. You're not wrong, Smurphy. As we pick fourth in the draft. Um, he's a young player, though. So I don't really know what I want to do with him yet. We pick fourth. Do I have any other first-round picks that I managed to trade for? 27th, I do, actually. 36th. And we pick, like, what, 60-something? 60, 60, 59. All right. Uh, let's view our draft board real quick. So there's the Blizzard. Lindsey Beeson. Maybe related to John Beeson. Who knows? He was a sick linebacker in his day. Darion Clem out of Texas. Not really on my mind too much. Svando Sanders, that's a fun name. Not that big, though. Avery Craig out of UCLA. Solid. Marcus Marcus Wiley looks really good. Anton Terrell out of Texas. Catching my mind. He's a fast guy. Great speed for a defensive tackle. Jacorius Ward is good, though. Um, we're going to go ahead and simulate to our pick. First off the board is the Blizzard. Our three watch players off the board. Damone Blizzard, Darion Clem, and Lindsey Beeson all go in the top three. And Darion Clem is going to a team in our same division in the Los Angeles Rams. Let's see who's on the board right now. So our first player is Fondo Sanders. 5'10", 193, undersized cornerback, uh, a little bit. 4'37", speed's great, though. Uh, he has good top three skills, but we got to look down the board here. Look at the other cornerbacks that look very similar to him. It's not worth taking him at this point, especially when we have Perry Cox down here. who he, he compares very favorably. So he definitely is the best one available. Uh, I really don't have a vested interest in taking him. And then we look at, we already saw that, wide receiver, Hunter Hoffman Ellis. That name's annoying to say. Um, he has good top three skills, not particularly fast. He is 6'5". Uh, I don't really want him either. Avery Craig is interesting. Marcus Wiley, certainly interesting. Uh, but we're not going to take a halfback in the first round at this point. So what I'm going to do now is is look for trade partners. I mean, you, you, guys, you guys had to know it was coming. Uh, let's view our offers here. So we're looking for 2019 first rounders, probably. And we could pick up a uh, first rounder next year as well. But the Browns are offering me a very, very good trade here. I'm going to go and see if I can work out a second from the Browns as well. We're going to look at that because they were offering me kind of a lot and all in this draft class. Oh, they have seconds. Could I finagle a second? Because we are moving down to 12. Not quite. They need a free safety, a quarterback, middle linebacker. Would they take C.J. Beathard here? Do I want to trade C.J. Beathard for this? Does, does C.J. Beathard have green interest anywhere? No. Let's see what the Browns would trade just for C.J. Beathard. Mm, not much. That's not budging. Let's throw another two into the mix. All right. Um, that's interesting. Free safety. Don't really have any trade pieces. Middle linebacker. Nothing to trade. Cornerback. Really not much to trade. I'd throw in a Keller Witherspoon, but there's no value. And then left end, um, we have Aaron Lynch. We have Jihad Ward. They're probably not going to want. We're just going to have to throw in draft picks. And I don't want much this year. I want my picks. So I would trade maybe a... A third rounder next year. Not through yet. <sighs> okay. What about a 7th this year to make it go through? 
I'll change it to a sixth. All right, we're trading down from the fourth overall position, giving up a next year's third round pick and a sixth rounder this year to, for pick number 12 and two second rounders from the Cleveland Browns. Not bad. The Browns use that pick to take Benson, a left tackle, as a couple of cornerbacks go off the board. A bunch do, honestly. Marcus Wiley still here. Anton Terrell, Jacorius Ward. He's probably my number one cornerback at this point. Um, he's my last one available. If I want to go cornerback at 12, it's certainly an option. Could go Darkwa. Don't really want Darkwa. Don't need a wide receiver. No, especially not a 5'8 one. I think I'm going to take Jacorius Ward out of Nebraska. 4'4", four, four, flat speed. Six foot one, good top three skills. I really don't think I can fail here because uh, he's going to have above 90 speed. He's going to have solid coverage stats. Here he is, 82 overall, ranked number 19 in the class. We took him at 12, 95 speed, 85 man, 81 zone coming out of the draft. 69 play rec is pretty high, 83 press, 92 acceleration. He's got 89 agility. Hit power's low, block shed's low. Pursuit jumping, decent. Um, awareness is also 69. He's the absolute perfect combination of play rack and awareness tackle is also decent i'm happy with the selection i'm happy with the selection um as we're gonna move on here to number 27 see who's on the board still yep i felt i had a feeling marcus wiley was going to be we have a quarterback here he looks decent that sounds like bits or something uh saw from a baggie of pot. I don't know what that could mean. A lot of bits there. Appreciate that. Who am I looking at here? Five. I don't want another under six foot receiver. We could go running back. We could go Marcus Wiley. He's very well rounded. He's a one cut style. He has a perfect combine grade overall. He's not weak by any means i don't know the stats that i'd want to know i want to know elusiveness i would want to know trucking i can't see any of those he could be very good would be a good change of pace we know he's well-rounded we could also go ramon lucas here out of a&m we could go Derek winfield out of nebraska he'd be the perfect combo we pick again in another, a number of picks. Do I take Marcus Wiley here? Number of good running backs. We got it. The Wiley brothers. What is 427 speed? 511. Now he's another style of back. He's not the same as Marcus Wiley. But we got the Wiley bros in here. That's fun. That's a fun storyline. I'm not going to go running back here. You know who I'm going to take? Is I'm going to go Derek Winfield out of Nebraska. Yeah, I'm going Derek Winfield out of Nebraska. Good top three skills. We know his combine was phenomenal. He has good speed, even if it was the 10th ranked right outside linebacker combine speed. We know he's solid. He's going to fill a need. He's going to play over Ray Ray Armstrong probably. And here he is. 80 overall, ranked number 26 in the class. We took him at 27. 82 speed is solid. 87 tackle, 85 block shed, 91 hit power. 78 play rec, 79 pursuit. What's your zone coverage like? 65 and then 66 man 83 strength 90 excel he's a solid pick really no complaints here he's solid he's solid there goes a running back but you'll notice still on the board is marcus wiley is a number of other players andre darkwa ramon lucas is still here Keelan Spencer out of UCLA. Very strong. He's basically, yeah, he is a nose tackle type. 6'5, 308. We know he can get after the quarterback. He's just not exceptionally fast. Is he still going to be on the board? We, we like a cornerback in here. Perry Cox out of Villanova. Want him, want him badly. Hatback could have slow stuff. I know he could have slow development. It's possible. We took Joey Cummings. He had slow development. 
We need another running back that isn't Orleans Darkwa. Could we replace Darkwa with Darkwa and Andre Darkwa out of Ole Miss? He's faster. He's a one-cut style running back. That's what that's what Joey Cummings offers. Marcus Wiley, he's bigger. He's 216 pounds. Much bigger than Joey Cummings, I think. I'm going to go Marcus Wiley. If he's got slow development, it is what it is. We have two slow dev running backs. That's all right. I think he's going to be solid. He has great top three skills. 79 overall, normal development. He's ranked number nine in the class. We took him at 36. 90 speed is perfect threshold. 89 excel, 88 carrying, 86 ball carry vision, 86 stiff arm, 81 spin, 80 juke, 71 trucking. He's very, very well rounded. 84 elusiveness, 80 juke, 86 agility, I said. 73 route running. Perfect catching. He's pretty strong. This is a solid pick. I really can't complain about the number nine player in the draft. It's not bad. I'm happy with their draft so far. I'm very pleased. As we pick again here. Keelan Spencer went to Chicago. Now Walter Wiley's on the board. Do we take the Wiley brothers? I can't do it. Can't do it. Based on what we need, we are going for the sure thing, in my opinion, in Perry Cox. Uh, he has the speed. He has the coverage skills. He's supposed to be a third-round pick. We're not going to let him go that far. Perry Cox here. I don't know what that celebration was. That was like the whitest thing I've ever done. 90 speed, solid. 85 man, 82 zone. 80 press, 94 accelerations great. 90 agility. Superstar development. He's got 74 play rec. 80 press. Hit power's low. Block shed's low. Uh, tackle's really low. Jumping's decent. Pursuit, decent. But he's a cover corner. He has superstar development out of Villanova. Perry Cox. Solid. Solid. No complaints there. So you move on. Walter Wiley still on the board here. He's got 427 speed. He would be a third running back in the rotation at at best, probably, with Joey Cummings, with Marcus Wiley. Uh, that would mean Orleans Darkwood would not fill a role anymore. And we don't really have anyone on the board here. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Is I'm going to trade this pick down for probably something next year. We had a first round from Seattle. But I think, to me, this pick has the most value here. Uh, two next year from Chicago. A fourth this year and a seventh this year. I'm going to trade down with the Chicago Bears. And I'll tell you what. If Wiley is still on the board, we will draft him. He, he might still be on the board. Walter Wiley at the top of the board. Slow development wouldn't even bother me. He's very agile. He's very fast. His top three skills are good. He could be an absolute beast, actually. We're going to go to the Wiley bros. Michigan State and Texas. Walter and Marcus. Normal development. Interesting. Uh, he's ranked number 25 in the class. We him at 59. 96 speed. 92 acceleration. 89 carrying. 81 ball carry vision. 83 spin. 82 juke. He's likely going to be returning a lot of kicks for us. That's why I could rationalize taking another running back here. Uh, 58 awareness is low, but that doesn't matter. 89 elusiveness is high. 91 agility is high. Uh, 64 catching. Route running 72. Very fast. He's likely going to be returning a lot of kicks for us. And Walter and Marcus. Wiley. We got the Wiley bros. Intra hopefully like, they're like uh, or unlike Wiley Coyote. And they can catch the road runner. It's, they don't play defense. It's a different thing. Third rounder here. Trade Cummings and Darkwood. There's no need to trade Joey Cummings. He's coming off a 10 touchdown. Um, a thousand yard season. And there's nothing that I really want here in the third round at all. Sherman Armstrong is the next thing that comes up for me and then Travion Robbins is a little bit too slow for my taste or Trayvon Robbins excuse me um I don't know I, th I feel like we probably trade this pick down and then Dante Buchanan something I'm looking at out of South Dakota put in slot he has feet and bounce trade that's interesting look at linemen we don't really need linemen that much at this point 
Uh, I don't really see anyone that's particularly strong. Yeah, no one... Well, Burn has Benson. Yeah, 31. That's not... That's not anything that we need to really go out and draft. Um, and then who do we who do we have watched here on the draft board? We have Sherman Armstrong, Armstrong. We have Dante Buchanan, and we have Corvin Vincent. The reason I checked out him is because he has good speed and he has good skills. Um, and I know it says he's supposed to go undrafted. It's just going to be because awareness or release or something is super super low. But he has good catch and traffic, good spec catch, good catching. I mean that's what you look for in a wide receiver. We're going to trade away this pick here. Third rounder. Why would I want a third? I want something next year. Why are they offering me... No, I want a... Oh, second rounder next year and a third this year. Or we can go a high two next year and a five. Let's go actually... I don't really want to trade with the Rams. We're going to go a two next year and a five next year from Baltimore. Like both rooms are feverishly back on the phones. I think that means a trade is coming. And then look down the board in the, uh, in the fourth round. Who else do we have watched here? Did he go? Did he get drafted, the guy? He could have. I don't remember who it was. It was a cornerback, wasn't it? Ugh. I think it was a cornerback. We're gonna take we're gonna take Dante Buchanan here out of South Dakota. Interesting. Uh seventy nine overall, ranked number twenty two in the class. We took him at one oh four. He's got 96 speed, 78 route running, 93 acceleration, 83 catch and traffic, 85 spectacular catch, 93 jumping at 5'10". 96 speed, 76 release, 81 ball carry vision, 91 elusiveness, 79 carrying... Interesting. Catching is surprisingly low. Fights for yards... He looks a lot like a running back to me. <laughs> he looks like a running back. That's very interesting. Yeah, someone in the chat said running back too. You're that's very that's very odd. Let's move on to the fifth round. Um Gordon Manning, I don't know much about. He's very strong. He's not fast. He's 6'7", 316. He's young. We're in the fifth round. I might just take Gordon Manning here. Just because he's awful. Um, I was hoping he'd be stronger. That's not a great pick. I shouldn't. I, that's, what, that's what I always tell myself not to do. And I never do it. I never go after players I haven't scouted because I don't know how good they are. As Corbin Bryant, or whatever his name was, the guy that we liked in the uh, sixth round, goes one pick ahead of us to Buffalo. That's kind of annoying. I mean, there's not much here. It's basically just going off combine grade at this point. Hey, I don't really like that player. 4-5-2 speed. <sighs> He's just not good. DJ Love out of Southern Utah, 438 speed. We're going to take him just because he's fast. 95 speed, 80 catch in traffic, 80 spectacular catch, 79 catching, 79 route running. It's just route running, awareness, and release are going to be super low. That's all it is. Um, what does he have trait wise? Fights for yards, keeps feet in bounds. Not bad, actually. I don't love that pick of DJ Love, but he's okay. The 49ers are now on the clock. There's a man to man seven. Perry Moma, four five three speed. There's a seven point eight here. It's a prototype. So he's he's very strong. Four three three speed. That's interesting. I think we're going to take him. Nick Phillips out of Idaho. 4-3-3 speed. He's strong. He had a great combine. We don't. He's probably going to be bad. Uh, no man, no zone. Special teamer. I think that's what that comes down to. Um, 52 hit power. Really low tackle. Oh, he's just, he's just yeah, an athlete. 
He really can't do much. Not a bad draft, though. Let's go to the draft recap. So, in the first round, Jacorius Ward out of Nebraska. 80 overall, or 82 overall, I should say. Cornerback. He can come in immediately. Plug and play. Derek Winfield out of Nebraska should be our starting left outside linebacker. Very solid. Marcus Wiley. We took the Wiley boys in Walter and Marcus. They're solid. Not twins, though, as Marcus is 21 and Walter's 22. Perry Cox is 22. He's a cornerback. Superstar development. We got a good group of corners now. Dante Buchanan out of South Dakota is a very interesting player. Again, he looks like a running back. We're going to see what it o is uh, overall is a running back. He's probably going to return kicks for us as well. His player type would not be power back. He looks like a running back. He's very, very uh, light. What's his overall at running back? He's an 81 overall running back. He's got 86 spin, 88 juke. What? Am I going to show some of the preseason today? Yeah, I probably will. Like I have in the past. That's very interesting. We're going to change him back to wide receiver, though. They hold me on development. Well, we got Perry Cox. He's a superstar. And then, of course, like, Dante Buchanan was great value. So, I mean, like, I didn't get superstar on many of them. Whatever. No quick. That's fine. So, let's look at the team. Marcus Wiley is not going to be our number one guy. I'll tell you that right now. Joey come Oh, man. we got Orleans Darkwood just doesn't have a spot on the team, except for being a power back, I guess. Yeah, we have a lot of running backs. I mean, I would like to carry four on the roster. I guess we're just going to have four talented ones. And we could... Like, Kyle Juszczyk is an awful blocker. And I don't know how uh, Marcus Wiley's coming in with no confidence. <laughs> like, how is his confidence low? Uh, we have Matt Breida as well. Matt Breida's going to get cut. He's just going to get cut. We're going to want a roster. It's just easier to do everything. Quarterback, Smokin' J, Smokin' CJ, and Smokin' Jimmy. We can't do that. But Smokin' J and Smokin' CJ on the bench. Halfback, uh, Matt Breida. He's not an awful player. He's just, he was a developmental guy, uh, and he's just not good enough. So, Matt Breida, thank you, but no thank you. You are gone. Um, we got, oh, man, we have players with some talent on this team. We really do. Fullback, Kyle Juszczyk. That's all right. And we could, in certain schemes, uh, run dual back sets and just have one of these halfbacks play fullback. Switch Wiley and Buchanan and trade Darkwa. Do you think, which Wiley do you think could be a wide receiver? Is it Walter who had the feet and bounds trade? He does have it, yeah. Uh, route running is low, catching is low. He can't play wide receiver. He can't. Cut Cummings. Joey Cummings is actually a beast. He has slow development, I'm aware. He's been very solid. He'll likely be our starting running back. Uh, but we're going to get a lot of rotation in. So, at wide receiver, it's a very interesting group. It really is. Um, we're going to have to cut a lot of these guys. That's just the fact of the matter. Julius Barrow will be the first to go. Or Justin might have been. I, I read Julius. Um, Kalan Adkins is saying Aaron Burbridge is getting cut. And then we could carry six receivers. I think we're going to. We're going to carry six. Tight end. Uh... We are going to head, go ahead and release Braden Bowman. Doesn't really serve a role for us. Left tackle, John Theus is not our left tackle. Fine there, fine there. Um, VJ Poole, we're going to still try and play him at left tackle. I know his pass block's slow. We're going to have to Toby does his best. Left end it. 
Aaron Lynch, Jihad Ward. We wanted to address his position uh, in the draft. There wasn't much talent there based on where we were picking. We have a lot of defensive tackles. We have a lot. Can't carry all of them. J.D. Purcell is getting cut. D.J. Jones can stay. We're going to carry four defensive tackles. Um, and then over at right outside linebacker, Derek Winfield is going to play the left side now. And he is 79 overall left outside linebacker. It's fine. Ray Ray Armstrong, he's played well, but I like him better as a bench guy. Similar speed here. I think it's the exact same. I think it's both 82. Yeah. Uh, middle linebacker, we could use a backup for sure. Cornerback. This is going to be the highly contested uh, group here. Because it's like, who's going to get the playing time? Jacorius Ward's going to... He's the best player on the team, so he's going to start at corner. Uh, Willis Burdine's going to start. Perry Cox is going to probably play in the slot. And then Richard Robinson's going to be moved to the four. But I, Aaron Merritt's played well. Richard Robinson is quick... Yeah, I mean... Richard Robinson can be at the four. Unless one of these guys can play safety. Perry Cox would not translate that well. Aaron Merritt could be a safety. I want to see tackle is high for Merritt. Hit power is high for Merritt. Block shed is very low. How does Aaron Merritt... How would he play as a safety? Another... Do we have two Idaho State players on this team? I swear to He goes to up, up to a 71 overall. Tackle would have to get boosted. Um, I feel like I'd like Dawson Bailey more as a safety. And then I like Aaron Merritt. Aaron Merritt's a guy I want to get, like, some time, though. I feel like we have two Idaho State guys. Am I wrong here? Aaron Merritt. Is there one more? Idaho and Nick Phillips. I swear. Southern. I don't know. Play all the games or sim? Uh, I play some of the games. Like... Like, over 50%, but not all of them. Interesting. Um, I don't... How do... They're, they, can, they play very similarly, or... Stat wise, 6 1. Dawson Bailey is. I didn't see. Dawson Bailey is 5 11. Aaron Merritt's going to start at free safety for us, actually. We're going to try him there this year. He is not a 3 4 pass. That's not what he is. He has high tackle block shed. Eh, that's kind of what he has. He's a run stopper. That's what he is. Ruben Foster. Um, kind of has everything. Still need to sign a backup middle linebacker? Yeah, I know. What do they say he is? Say he's a run stopper? He has, oh, great tackle and block shed. Did I make it that? I don't think I did. I may have. I don't know if that's going to impact his overall at all. It might. Oh, it does. I thought it was 88 previously. All right. Now he's uh, up to an 89 with whatever. Uh, it's a good group of players. It is. Uh, Aaron Lynch, I guess, he'll work. So we're going to simulate to the preseason. If I want to start Ray Ray still, I don't. I 
don't want to do that. All right. Let's go to free agency, see who's available. Uh, we're really just going for backups here. DRC, there's no need. Charlie McCleskey. Not particularly good. Interesting. I interesting. Undrafted defensive tackle. Uh, not a bad player. Rugged Gamer with the subscription. Thank you, my man. I appreciate that very much. Ooh, Tano passing on. He's not that fast in this. Not worried. That's that's certainly interesting. That's, that's a stroke of luck. Back up middle linebacker. We're going to go Arthur Brown here. Yeah, we're going to go Arthur Brown. Okay, now we got a decision to make. Because we talked about replacing Eric Armstead. And now we have a guy like Jamar Wiggins. 6'7", 309 pounds. That is certainly, that's something. Could we move him to the outside, you're thinking? Well, I don't know if he has the speed. 75 speed is not great. And Eric Armstead speed is much worse. I think it's 69, yeah. Um, he's very high in strength. Tackle. Got good block shit power move. Play rec's very low, which is good. I like that. Uh, awareness, is, you know, we'll boost that. Could we play him on the outside? I just don't know if he's going to have the giddy-up. What's his acceleration? 82. That's not bad. Undrafted A2 I roll fullback I missed. I just don't care about that at all. Especially when I have uh, Kyle Juszczyk. Could he play left end? Oh my god, look at his number. He's a fucking beast. Did I save it? I think I did. So he's a 74 now. We're going to play him at defense. He's going to start at defensive tackle, I think. We don't really have a ton of options. I think that's just what we have to do. And then we have a great rotational defensive tackle in Eric Armstead. That's perfect. Um, Cox is going to play in the nickel. Does he translate well as a nickel cornerback? Really low block shed. The problem is, I don't know if anyone else will be better. 50 tackle. What's Burdine's tackle? He is better hit power. Slightly better tackle. Willis Burdine might become a nickel cornerback, which would be odd. We're going to leave Cox there for now. I think we're going to leave him there. Buckner was a former left end. I think he played right end at, uh, at Oregon. But he wouldn't be great in that scheme. He wouldn't. He's not an edge guy. But yeah, I think that's the team. I also want to change formation subs. Not formation subs. That's not what I wanted. I mean, we could... But I want auto subs at halfback. We're gonna turn turn that up. I think substitute out. I don't. I don't really know what that means. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna turn that up. Turn that up. I want to go to the defense side of the ball. Defensively, we're going to go, uh, I think we've moved that up. It's going to happen more, I'm pretty sure. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. I think that's going to be fine. So we're going to get a chance to see a lot of players. 
But you look at the uh, the situation here. You gotta go to wide receiver and fix that. Here's the wide receiver rotation. Sanchez Heaney can't. He's not a number one. He is a slot receiver. Josh Gordon. Whether you like him or not, he is our number two. He fits well there. Dante Buchanan. He's likely going to become our number one. I know he's 5'10". Um, he's not a slot receiver by any means. Spectacular catch. I mean, Sanchez Heaney is too. But he has high jumping. We're going to play him at wide receiver. I mean, actually, Josh Gordon's a one. We're going to go Dante Buchanan too. And then Kalan Adkins is our four. And we'll make we'll make DJ Love our five. Tight end, that's fine. Halfback's another odd situation. Who's our number one here? Joey Cummings is our number one for sure. Orleans Darkwood is our four, and I think Walter Wiley is a three. Marcus Wiley is a two. Walter Wiley's not going to play a lot. It's just that's just how it is. Cornerback. Uh, I like where we are. And then kick returner, punt returner. Walter's better than the Cummings now. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to, for the sake of, you know, keeping the series good, we're not going to do that. So Nick Phillips is actually a good returner. He has 93 kick return. And then Walter Wiley's going to be at the one. I don't want Dante Buchanan returning kicks. I know he's good at it. Yeah, he's a rookie. Yeah, I might. I want Wiley returning kicks and punts, though, as a number one. Second kick returner. What do you guys? You guys want Nick Phillips? Idaho cornerback. He is 90. We're going to we're gonna run Dante Buchanan back there. We kind of have to. <laughs> He's just really elusive. Kickoff specialist, Bradley Pinion. Um, no? Brandon McManus is just better. Long snapper. We're fine here. And then third down running back. We'll go Marcus Wiley. He makes the most sense. Yeah. All right. I feel like Walter Wiley is better than Marcus Wiley. Not for my purposes. I don't want uh, two running backs of very similar things. Like, Walter Wiley is basically Joey Cummings. Like, you see stiff arm, truck, spin, juke. If we look at it on Marcus Wiley, um, he, his stiff arm is way better. Trucking, better. He just, he's more of what I want at that position. So this is the depth chart. This is what we're rocking with. Uh, let's go ahead and play preseason game here at Levi Stadium. And we'll wrap up the stream, see how the team plays. Let Little return, let Kittle return kicks? Buchanan has St. Juking's been, uh, yeah, I know. That's why I had to play him there. Play a dual halfback formation. Um... I don't know. I mean, we could do that, and I'm sure it'll come up a lot. What would we play out of that? It'd be like, it'd be definitely something like split back, like gun split. Hmm. I don't know. I think Brown should return kicks. Who do you mean by Brown? Who's Brown on my team? Brown, Brown. I have no idea who that would be. Who is Brown on my team? Arthur Brown? Uh, yeah, I, I did sign him. That's right. Trent Brown? Ah. <laughs> no. Darkwa for quarterback. Definite possibility there. Forty ers jerseys look really nice. Now I'm not gonna spoil anything, and I'm not saying my mind's made up. But I pretty much know who my Madden 19 franchise... I know it's down the road, of course, at this point. But I have a pretty good idea who my Madden 19 franchise is going to be around. How am I so good as a middle linebacker with reads? Uh, I've been playing Madden a while. And I'm... I have a good user ability. It's just practice, and I've been doing it forever. It gets hard to read the uh, CPU, though. Oh, and these are new sliders as well. All right, playing Drew Brees, Todd Gurley. Still going to be the Todd Gurley show, I guarantee you. Look at Reuben Foster shed that block, but what a play by Solomon Thomas. All right. 
These are updated sliders. They should make it a little bit harder. It is preseason though. Close down. All right. And uh, we're going to manually adjust and put in some players that they get subbed out. Like Perry Cox, I want to play pretty much the whole game. I want um, our starting left outside linebacker who's not on the field right now to play a lot. Third and three. He's got to stop here. To screen. Oh, let's go. Ruben Foster. Good read, good tackle. That's the benefit of running a user out there. What sliders? Um, I don't remember all of them offhand. All right. Walter Wiley going to get his first opportunity. I will probably change some numbers. You know, decent first return. He's not, he doesn't feel that quick to use her, but, uh, it is my own or someone else's. It's, uh, it's Moonlight Swami's sliders, uh, but I've altered them a bit to make it uh, more difficult. All right, we're going to take... It is preseason, so we're going to take chances. Aaron Donald is not fair. <laughs> Does uh, get an injury there to Malcolm Smith. We're going to throw that ball. It was not a good decision. I got to remember that, that that throw is not possible in franchise. It's just not... Jimmy Garoppolo, that's a good tackle. My XP sliders are my base uh, rebuild sliders, I'm pretty sure. Drew Brees could add a touchdown there. All right, I think this might be Winfield's first snap. We're going to blitz him. I don't want him to handle that gap, though. Get back, get back, get back, get back. I don't really know what happened there. Winfield's still, on, still out here. He's going to hold that edge. Drew Brees checks down. It's tackled immediately by uh, Aaron Merritt. And we're going to set up for the field goal block. How'd the offseason go? Pretty well. We have a couple of new starters out there at a bunch of positions, so that's always interesting. As we're going to see the rest of the starters play for about another seven minutes or so. All right. Walter Wiley, out returning kicks now. Oh, Walter Wiley. Oh, what is going on? He carries the ball like like Michael Vick. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe that's why we can't have him out there running back. Check, check out the way he holds the ball. It's like Ed Reed when he catches an interception. Check this out. I know I kept saying check this out. Look at the way he carries the ball after the spin move. It goes in his left hand. What are you doing? You play running back. This is, you don't hold the ball like this. He literally thinks he's Ed Reed after an interception. What? What is this? Unreal. Right. Let's get Joey Cummings a handoff. See, like where Johnny Smith is right now, we could have that as a as another one of our running backs. So, like, at a gun split close in this playbook, we could run Johnny Smith as... Oh, can we not? It's only it's only fullback eligible. Um, that's kind of weird. Let's see if this play is going to work. We're going to go to the flat. That's the slowest release in the game, man, I swear. Is 
This is going to be on YouTube after the stream. Not this part. As a third down, we're going to run the ball. Marcus Wiley, let's get you a carry. That's actually... I probably could have had the first down there. Fourth and one for midfield. We're going to go for it. All right, there we go. It's from midfield. It's worth it. Joey Cummings checked back in and did not get it. 49ers preseason fans are not happy about it. Todd Gurley. Tough to tackle there. As far as Buckner gets the job done, but he got a lot of yardage from it. Play action. That's a user pick. Easy reads. Hop on pop. Get the user pick. That felt really smooth. Do I use a pass playbook? I'm out of uh, Jets. I'm going to get the ball to Joey Cummings here. Try to spin back to the left. That would have been really cool. Let's get Jimmy Garoppolo slinging the ball a little bit. Let's take some chances here. That's that's one on one. It's Dante Buchanan, the rookie, for 33. And I will change numbers. I don't know what the numbers are going to be yet. But uh, so far, Dante Buchanan is number 19. That's a blitz. We're going to check down. Joey Cummings dropped the ball. Ugh. Jimmy Garoppolo made that type of play, and Joey Cummings dropped the football. I swear, this entire season is going to be just people wanting uh, wanting Joey Cummings not in the starting position. There it is. Open the, over the middle. It's Dante Buchanan. Down to the 12. Dante Buchanan making some plays. I don't think I've ever run pistol wide trips. It's kind of nice. All right, some, some backups in now. We're going to take a chance. Kalan Adkins, make a play. Kalan Adkins! And this is a guy that makes plays. Every time Kalan Adkins gets in the game, and he's talking shit too. Oh, you got to love it. Kalan Adkins is 6'4". He's big. His spectacular catch rating is pretty high. He comes in and makes plays. This is all Madden. This is... Sliders to make it harder, get more realistic. And Kalan Adkins on simulation is going up and mossing people. That's why he's an awesome wide receiver for. Still a developmental player. This is only going to be his second season. Trying to get there. Somebody get Todd Gurley. It's a great tackle there from Aaron Merritt. Oh, I forgot. He's my starting free safety. I was thinking, like, what package do I have Aaron Merritt coming in? Aaron Merritt starts at free safety now. We got Winfield in in this package. Kirkland is the motion man. We're going to split the gap. Tried to. That's a great tackle from Aaron Lynch. We got. Uh, I still got to learn names for some of these guys. Some of these rookies. We're going to try and get, get it going. What's his name? Winfield? Anyone know Winfield's first name? I have no idea. That's easy read. You can't throw at me, Drew Brees. What are you doing? Green eggs and ham. What are you doing? Reuben Foster back to old ways. As Drew Brees showing signs of decline. Appreciate that, AJ. Derek? Is it Derek Winfield? Doesn't sound right. I'm going to run a screen here. Get Buchanan involved. 
He's going to break a tackle. Dante Buchanan down the sidelines. Struggling to stay in bounds. Goes out at the 11. I might give Buchanan a one-on-one. -on -one. Has he earned it? I think so. I did not get the ball with any height. <laughs> Forced that one, obviously, but it's preseason. We're giving guys opportunities. And uh, Tremaine Johnson just played the ball well. I should have gotten that in the air more, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I should have high-pointed it. That's what I should have done. All right. Drew Brees throwing. Checks down. Wide open is Kirkland. Have I tried out Sea of Thieves? I've heard about it. I don't know what it is at all. As I am going to pause the game and check out. I don't. Is it Derek Winfield? It might be. It doesn't sound right, though, to me. It is Derek Winfield. All right. We'll remember that. Derek. Is Drew Brees the next Alex Smith? Hold on. I want to see. How old is Drew Brees at this point? Drew Brees is in. He's 40. What are his throwing stats looking like? He's got 86 throw power. Very accurate, short, mid, deep. But his throw power is so low. He just can't hit the throws he used to. Why is Breeze in the Rams when they have Goff? Uh, they decided to sign Breeze over him. Goff, I guess, wasn't developing. This is, uh, this is season three now. Jared Goff now in the game. Start the second quarter. Because we got some backups in. Arthur Brown looks so small. Goff going to find a wide open Ford. So Obi Melifon was going to bring him down. Here's what we're going to do. Isaiah Ford, that might have been. Uh, CJ Beth, that's fine. Wide receiver, I do want to see more. of uh, Dante Buchanan. We're going to keep him at the two. That's fine. That's fine. Walter Wiley can be our four. Halfback, Marcus, Walter. All right, fine. Uh, George Kittle will play. Defensive tackle, Jamar Wiggins is at the one. That's good. Ray Ray Armstrong at left. Middle linebacker will not be Arthur Brown. It's going to be Derek Winfield. And then cornerback, Perry Cox at the one. Let's get Marcus Calhoun involved. And we already know Rashard Robinson's decent. Free safety, Dawson Bailey. Obi is still at strong. All right. We're sending a man blitz here. We got Lorenzo Jerome. Oh, great sack. It's Jamar Wiggins and Obi Melifonwu. The rookie wearing 69, a defensive tackle with the sack. Third and 16. Let's see what Jared Goff is capable of. Fumble. Ray Ray Armstrong forced it loose, and it's recovered by rookie Derek Winfield. Why is Ray Ray Armstrong a fumble-forcing machine? Odd. Let's see what Coach wants us to do. Four verts. Let's give some chances. We're looking at Kalan Adkins. We're looking maybe at DJ Love. We're looking, of course, at Dante Buchanan. This rookie's going to have an amazing season. But Kalan Adkins beat his man. Kalan Adkins down to the 15 as C.J. Beathard. Unleashes a 44-yard ball. That would have been a touchdown if we let him further, but not a fantastic throw. I'm going to throw that ball. It's Dante Buchanan. This is a guy that's going to break a lot of tackles for us. His elusiveness is awesome. 
I want to give some some chances here for players to make big plays in one on one. I think Denzel Ward's gonna be pretty good. Ah, I tried to find a spot to uh, get more uh, space. Looks like big Xavier Johnson. Right, third and nine. Haven't ran the ball much. We're going to start doing that. That's just such a bad throw from CJ Beathard. How long am I going to be streaming for? Uh, this is probably the last preseason game. Did I miss this? That'll happen. Why am I a Texas fan? Uh, all my family. Or a lot of my family went to Texas. On one side, I... They made sure I was a Texas fan from an early age. He's taking a shot deep. That's one-on-one. -on -one. And that is not a great job of playing the ball. Cooper Cup got his hands on that. What's going on, Crow? We're a man. Let's see what they can do. Second and ten. It is a handoff. Someone get there. Someone get there. He gets juked out. Newman can't catch him. Marcus Calhoun, catch Doyle. Do I like Kevin Durant since he went to Texas? Yes. A lot of people are pro hate Kevin Durant. I don't have a problem with him. I like. I don't like. He's not my favorite Texas basketball player. Uh, Lamarcus Aldridge is, but I do like KD. All right. Let's get Marcus Wiley some touches. Gain about five. Not bad. Marcus Wiley again, first down. This is what we want Marcus Wiley to do. Come in in like third down situations, run for short yardage, and just get it every time. Because we got Walter Wiley in the game now. We're going to run the ball again. Not really anywhere to go there. David Anyamata. They have David Anyamata? Interesting. And they're second 11. We're going to take a shot, probably. We're going to throw that. No. Well, I don't get why that, that ball was thrown the way it was. All right. Third and 10. Let's make a play. A is open. We're going to go B, though. It's Dante Buchanan. First down. That's what I like to do when I find a playmaker. I just force them the ball. Where are you? Kyle, use check. Oh, Kyle. Use check. Oh, baby. CJ Beathard coming in being pretty effective. Josh Gordon's back in the game. We're going to the flat. Garrett Selleck somehow still on the team. He's down to the three. Walter Wiley in at wide receiver. He's like triple covered. I think Kalan Adkins ran out of bounds. Let's run the ball here. Third and goal. Marcus Wiley back in the game. Get the yardage. There's no there's nowhere to go. 
There is nowhere to go. All right, 10-10. It's preseason. What is Brady's rating in this franchise? I have no idea. Oh, that's a big hit. Richard Robinson making a special teams impact. We're setting a lot of pressure on this one. Wiggins looks massive on the field. So one of the flat. Make the play. That's awesome blocking from the Rams. Cooper Cup like, nope. Nope. Donation. We're going to let that get read out. The good Lord blessed me with some great genes. He just didn't bless my hair follicles. I'm jealous of your hair. It's a weird thing to say. <laughs> you can't think of a college team with an eagle? Boston College? Shit. Someone get after Jared Goff. Come on. Close in. Like the pressure's nice, but get the sack. Oh, he held on. It's a good play by uh, Derek Winfield. As Quan Alexander somehow found his way back out of the field. That's due to lack of linebacker depth. And that is wide open. Beverly, who is on him? Aaron Rodgers is open to leaving the team in effort to win a Super Bowl. Isn't he still under contract? Can't cover everybody. Oh, what a play. Who's 52? Newman. Who is Newman? He just made an excellent play on the ball. That's wide open. Marcus Calhoun. Down to the one. All right, let's just stop him. Yeah, he just, he just stepped in. We have no one good out on defense right now. No one shedding blocks. It's all right. Hey, we got a game. Is Marcus Wiley's back there returning kicks now? Let's run the football. Marcus Wiley breaks the tackle, spins past one. Marcus Wiley's off to the races. Staying in bounds, we're gonna call a timeout. Probably should have stepped out. Marcus Wiley. That was a nice run. All right, now we're actually probably gonna try and score. Let's check down, it's Dante Buchanan. We're gonna step out at the 22. 19 is not a bad number. 
Kind of like it. Or was I sure that was Marcus? Yeah, 37. Walter's a bit darker and wears 39. We're going to streak Dante Buchanan. That's a sack. Dante's good. Dante Dante Johnson's pretty good. Or Dante Buchanan. Dante, Dante Johnson is not that good. Dante Buchanan is. We're going to throw that ball. That is not where I wanted it. Kalan Adkins make a play. That would have been nice. We're going to streak Kalan Adkins again. Let's uh, slant Buchanan. See this concept worked. That's open. That's open. That's such a bad throw. Oh, my God. Dude, he was open. I swear he was. If I could get a job for any NFL team, what would it be? Uh, I mean, general manager would be awesome. All right, Phillips is back out here. He's a cornerback we drafted. He's fast. That's it. And he's really not much else. That's open. Let's hit it. Garrett Selleck. As Arthur Brown is out there at backup tight end. Because we don't have four tight ends. Here, Ozzie Newsom stepping down? Yeah, I did. Uh, after next year. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep Kalon Atkins on that route. I don't know what I... Like, no one was open. I tried to find something. Didn't work. Alright, second and 11. That's open again. Dante Buchanan in space. Makes a man miss with a spin. Dante Buchanan! I'm gonna have something special with this guy. He's a decent player. 51 yards to the house. I want to give him an option to uh, catch a deep ball. Not a not a bad player. Oh shit, that was my that was my gap. They got me on a counter. Or a misdirection of some sort. Oh, I thought he was gone. Doyle, five rushes, 116, and two touchdowns. We do not have a lot of uh, <laughs> run stoppers, run stoppers, in the uh, in the second team defense. You don't think you've ever seen me play Madden? <laughs> you don't watch my videos, that's why. Winfield, Derek Winfield gets him in the backfield. Loss of four. And they're going to be forced to punt. Alright, Phillips, that's a very short punt. We're going to fair catch that one because I don't want to die. Go on offense. 
Christian Taylor. All right, man, I feel like we just have to get Buchanan involved because he is our offense right now. Look how fast he is off the line. Spin back to the inside. If he would have broken that tackle, we had good blocking. Like, Buchanan kind of is our offense. All right, Marcus Wiley back in the game. We're going to go back up the middle. Ooh, nowhere to go. Third and one. We're hand it off again. Wiley. He's got the first down. Barely. Oh, we got one-on-one -on -one here. No safety help. I just need time. Adkins or Buchanan. Throw the ball! Aaron Donald's back in. It's the third quarter in preseason. It's the third quarter in preseason. What is Aaron Donald doing in the game? Third and 15. I don't even know how I want to play this. I feel like Buchanan in a one-on-one -on -one probably isn't the, the worst option. We're going to throw it up to him. It's not a great throw. Uh, we forced it. Blitz was coming in. I just uh, wanted to throw it away quickly. Throw it downfield. Give our, give our best player on the field a chance to make a play. That's going to be a really good punt, I think. Please go. Please go. That's a great punt. Down at the one. Bradley Pinion pinning them deep. Someone get there. Oh, that's a safety. Is that the guy we drafted who's really fast and can't do much else with the safety? Wiggins? Not Wiggins. Is it Wiggins? No, I don't. And that's a penalty. It's Phillips. Phillips made the play. And then there's a flag. Andy Lee who? A he, Andy Lee who? I don't know why that's hard for me to say. I thought it was like Cindy Lou who. Uh, yeah, he was sick for the 49ers. Back in like 2013. I like these one-on-ones. That's pressure. That's pressure. We're going to throw it up. Make a play. It's Kalan Adkins. He just had no idea the ball was even in the air. <laughs> and that ball. It's Darion Clem. Guy that we had a chance to draft and chose not to. been an odd series of events. But that's, that, I mean, that's why you get a great punter. That's why we re-signed Bradley Pinion. That punt gave us two points and the lead. It's a play action. He's got me. Oh, Ray Ray. That's incomplete, actually. Didn't draft him. What a bum. We had, we had a really good draft, and uh, like Perry Cox was better. I mean, you don't know. You don't know Magunski. What, what are you doing here? And Jared Goff overthrows on third down. Good defensive stop from the backups here. Who's back to return? It's Phillips. He got the safety. How tall is that DT? He looks like seven foot. I don't know. I think he's, he might be 6'7". He's very big, though. That's right. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention there. I was weird. I want, I'm kind of thinking about how tall he is now. We'll check it out. Football is awesome, McGunty. Big fan. Uh, yeah, he's 6'7", 309. We have three guys who are 6'7 on this team. Eric Armstead... Jamar Wiggins, DeForest Buckner. 
Those are our three defensive tackles. To be a defensive tackle on this team, you have to meet one requirement. It's not be good. It's be 6-7. We might go Buchanan deep. Here's play action. Bethard. Give me time. Give me time. We're throwing it up. Oh, that's just such a bad throw. Oh, he couldn't hold on. No. CJ Beathard has no arm strength. He torched that defense. We're pretty much forcing it to Buchanan at this point. He didn't even go off the line. I don't know what that was. And we got sacked. I should have dumped it down. Third and 12. Third and 12. Let's find a guy. A is kind of open. We're going to do that, though. It's Kalan Adkins. I don't know. I thought that was a Marcus Wiley for some reason. And we're going to get another Road to Glory series? I don't know. I was thinking about that last night. We have our receivers in right now are so bad. But I like, you know... We got a one-on-one, -on -one, so we're gonna we might throw it up. We're gonna throw it up. Oh my goodness! Darion Clem is burned by a running back. Walter Wiley in a wide receiver. Torches. First round pick. Top five pick. Darion Clem by the Rams. Whatever. Did I see Ruben Foster got arrested? Yeah, like last month. Walter White. Walter Wiley. This isn't Breaking Bad. We got the Wiley Bros. We drafted two running backs with the last name Wiley in this class, Mark. Walter and Marcus. He's going to throw it. That's it. Oh, he dropped it. Beverly across the middle. Couldn't secure the catch. Is that Perry Cox? Is that who we're at 25? It is. going to run the ball on second and 10. Yeah, he is. Wow. He's, he's really fast to hit those holes. He is crushing us this game. Where's Marcellus Wiley? That's a good point. Am I going to do any trades this offseason? I mean, the offseason's over. This is the next season, but nah. I think we're pretty much like who we have. Damn, couldn't get there. It's a good preseason game, though. As exciting as that can be. I feel like it is, it is pretty exciting, though. For, you know, we get to see some players. but Not exciting, maybe. But. Oh, that's pressure almost there. And that's a receiver open. Kirkland. I think his name is Denver. Denver Kirkland. Not good. Play action, he got me. Oh, that's great defense. Who's 21? Obi Melifonwu? Alright. Not bad. That's a check down. Kirkland steps out of bounds because he has no awareness. Do I plan on how often I'm gonna upload this series? Uh, it's pretty much just when it comes out. I mean, I don't, I don't really have like a set date. Like every Tuesday and Thursday, 49ers franchise comes out. I try to keep it somewhat consistent, but check down, get there. Richard Robinson wraps him up, ish. Sammy Watkins, why is he in the game right now? It's the fourth quarter of a preseason game, and they're gonna go for it on fourth down. 
Oh, they have to. I didn't even realize the score. That's a pick. Easy reads. It's Derek Winfield. Ah, Sammy Watkins chases us down. But easy reads. Good night, Moon. As that could be the game. Marcus Wiley's got the outside. He's out. He's out running his blockers. <laughs> VJ Poole is just not fast enough. All right, Walter Wiley in the game. He has a receiving touchdown of all things, and he's fast. And that's it. I mean, he's decent. He's a decent player. Hasn't done much running the ball so far, though. As Marcus checks back in on second and nine. We're going to throw it to him. Marcus Wiley. Not my best hurdle attempt. That's, that's all right. They're not, they don't, they're not all great. They don't all have to be. Actually, here's what we're going to do. Streak George Kittle, streak Buchanan. Hopefully just get the time to make the throw. That's, oh man, pressure came in real quick. I wanted just a half second more. I was pressing the button. I want one-on-one, -on -one, dude. No, I want him on the line. All right, that's just not happening. I don't know what to do in that situation. I should probably just throw it away. Alright, let's fucking block, please. We got a one-on-one. -on -one. We're gonna throw it up. Make the play, Dante. That would have been insane. <laughs> That's what we want, though. We want to we want to give him opportunities to see what he can do. We want to give him opportunities. And he's not in. But Kalan Adkins is. We really shouldn't go for it here. But I just want to see some players make some plays. It is preseason. Oh, that would have been a nice catch from Kalan Adkins. Yeah, look how big. Oh, my God. Wiggins looks gigantic. Wiggins looks absolutely massive. Watch number 69 get to the line. Watch him at the start here. He takes so slow, and he's so big. Do I watch the combine? Yeah, I watch the combine. I might do daily recap. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Like risers and fallers from the combine? That's not a bad idea. That's got to be an interception. Obi Melafonwu shouldn't be playing because he starts, and it's the fourth quarter of a preseason game. Ready to pull packs for Dante Culpepper? Uh, I don't know. I've been pulling. I've been trying to stop pulling packs. It's a great block. We don't really have a lot of options, though. I ran into a sack. If nobody gets open, it's tough for me to uh, do anything. We've been sacked 10 times. Yeah, I like baseball. I don't watch basketball as much as I used to. I, it just it doesn't interest me as much. I, I kind of fall out of interest with basketball every once in a while. Make the play. Dante Buchanan! How? 
Oh! Throw the flag! Dante Buchanan! Oh boy. Dante Buchanan is an absolute beast. He's only 5'10", but he's the pure number one that we're looking for. I know he's 5'10", but hey, there are receivers that are smaller. Antonio Brown's 5'10". Odell's 5'11". Those are obvious number one guys. Replay, please. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. We'll check it out at the end of the game. This is overall in development. He's a 79 overall. Normal development. I don't I don't know what happened there. That's replay worthy. Alright, so Jared Goff throws a ball. Makes a good read. Wide open receiver here. We're gonna close in. We're gonna go for the hit stick there. He breaks two tackles. That's fine. What is in the fuck is Dawson Bailey doing? Oh, you got you'll get a tackle. Oh, he doesn't? Well, fuck everyone else who could make it play. Uh, I don't know. Obi gonna Obi? Yeah, he's a he's a liability after the catch. Like he can't he can't tackle for shit in those situations. But that was Dawson Bailey who really fucked up. Would I consider streaming the entire series and uploading his normal videos? I, were, I was using him, was I? I didn't think so. And I probably wouldn't do that. I don't think I was using him. He was my user? Nah. That's rough. I throw over the line there? He got switched automatically? Uh, yeah, I threw over the line. I wanted to throw that ball earlier, but I was running. I didn't trust CJ Beathard to throw it on the run. Now it's third and 16. I think Dante Johnson's probably, or Dante Buchanan's probably done for the game. We're just gonna hope Kalan Adkins can make a play. The pressure is just so much. We have starters out there. I might have to raise pass block slightly. Because we have like backups generating immense amount of pressure. Not a terrible punt. Considering the wind. A oh, ball's loose. Ball's loose and recovered by Kyle Juszczyk. Who forced that? 26? We'll remember the name. Even though we don't know the name. Let's run the ball a little bit more. Oh! Oh! Wiley! Marcus! Wiley! Oh, baby! Lower the shoulder, why don't ya? Prayers. 52-yard TD for Marcus Wiley. Who certainly made an impression so far here. Let's check this one out. He just goes, boom! Destroys him. And then, of course, the rest can't tackle him because that's what happens after an animation. <laughs> that is unreal. 52 yards. Nine seconds. One dead Ram safety. And a Marcus Wiley touchdown.
Not too shabby. All right, this game is pretty much wrapped up here. 39 to 24. That's wide open. That's an interception. It's Marcus Calhoun. We got a lot, a lot of Marcuses on this team. All right, let's get a mod to take that out of here. Do, we, do I have any moderators at the time? I'll take care of it. All right. Marcus Wiley back in the game. Second and seven. Bowles for he doesn't have that high of trucking. Do I follow high school recruits at all or just collegiate and pro football? I don't I don't watch high school football. Kalan Adkins, tired, but secures the catch anyway. I don't want to knee. It's preseason. I don't want to kneel it. I don't want to knee. I don't want to kneel it. I did it again. Oh, I didn't mean to click it again, but I, I get so excited. I just spam A. I don't, I don't want to do that. Can you pop up the thing, please? There we go. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. All right, we got, um, not Marcus. We have Walter Wiley in the game now. That's not the way I wanted to spin. We're going to go in the hurry up, keep him in the game. He has three rushes for two yards. He just can never find the gap, or I don't, I don't know. But Marcus Wiley has been extremely successful. Walter Wiley, not so much. Maybe a little bit too fast for his own good? I don't know. Will the full video be on YouTube? Yeah. Thirty-one seconds, no timeout for the Rams. Timeouts. This game is likely over. Big hit there from Obi Melifonwu. Catches made in his zone regardless. We need to get our safeties and corners up to 91 zone, let me tell you. Is Jay still on the team? Smoking Jay? Yeah, of course. Alright, that's the game. They might try to spike it, but uh, I don't think it's going to work out. Oh, they might be able to lob it up here. He's going to throw it. Somebody step into it. And that is the game. We're going to check out one replay. But yeah, Walter Wiley. He'll be a good returner for us. Was that a fourth down play? Oh, let me go. Uh, I want to see plays that I can view highlights on. There it is. Let's check out the ball. I don't know if you can see the ball here. If we switch to CJ Beathard, it should let us lock out on the ball. All right, here we go. Let's check out this play because it was pretty glitchy, as they say. It's really it's going to stay on CJ. There we go. We're locked on. <laughs> oh, man. That is something else. We're going to see. It's like a weird, not a speed boost exactly, but it kind of looked like it. Kind of a speed burst. Past the cornerback there, or the safety, you couldn't do anything. This guy was brutalized all game. This touchdown he allowed. 
and uh, he got trucked over by Marcus Wiley, and Dante Buchanan was gone. But that's going to do it for the stream and this video, guys. Probably was a long video, about two hours. But thank you so much for being here. If you followed on Twitch, um, that was great. If you subscribed or donated, I appreciate them all. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.